Hey YouTube, it's Tanya. What's going on? Um, today is Sunday. It's the first full week of November and Tom just went back. So the reason why I'm telling you that is because by the time you see this video, two, two weeks will have passed because I'm using my Sony CyberShot. I just like the quality better than using my HTC Evo and I left my cords at home so I can't upload it until I get home. So anywho, the reason why I'm doing this video is because as you can see, my hair is straight. The reason why my hair is straight is because it was time for me to get a trim. <laughs> I will preach all day long that you should get your hair trimmed if you're a naturalista every three months. With regret, I can honestly say I don't follow my own advice. I, um, I want length and I want length back. So I've only had my hair trimmed twice this year. The first time was in March and the second time was two days ago. But I will say I don't use heat on my hair, which you know. Um, I've only had my hair straightened twice this whole year and both times was to get my hair trimmed. So um, I don't use heat. I do my hair myself. I do lots of protective styling so my hair was very healthy going in so I really didn't need a trim um, a trim for me is more to even my hair out not necessarily to take to to take care of split ends because I don't really get split ends I do get fairy knots and I still actually have some fairy knots in this hair that's still here but I don't care I'm not gonna cut them out so um, I kind of wanted to show you the length what we have going on here so Hold on, let me raise up in this a little bit. Okay, so you can see this is 18 months of hair, which we're gonna factor in two trims. So hair grows, my hair is pretty much with the average of a half inch every month. So we're looking at, I should have about nine inches of hair. Well, I don't. My hair is on average, because I measured different areas of it after, after I got it cut. And my hair is seven to eight and a half inches long. But I'm okay with that because again, I've had my hair trimmed twice and I obviously would lose some length in having the hair trimmed. To have about an inch, what, a half inch to two inches of hair gone from trims, that's awesome. So I'm, I'll take that all day long. So anywho, I didn't bring a tape measure with me, so I can't show you, but I'll just show you. I'm doing this video to get you to look towards the future. Don't be frustrated if you feel like your hair is not growing fast, because it is. Um, a half inch is fast. That's good every month. But with our curl patterns, with those tight curls, you know, eight inches of hair, when it shrinks up, may only be two inches of hair. So don't get frustrated with that. It's not about... Um, the curl is just about healthy hair so um, and again there's trade-offs if you want to have longer hair you can't do a lot of things to it you have to protect it you can't give it lots of heat our hair is very fragile so heat on our hair causes damage so you don't want to put lots of heat on your hair you don't want to use lots of products that are harsh you want to use good products you've seen my journey since day one and you not only use good products and you can see how Starting off with this journey, I was using Carol's Daughters and I was using like Mixed Chicks. And again, I'm not going to say that Mixed Chicks is bad, but for my hair, um, the sulfate in the shampoo was not good because I was washing my hair frequently like every other day. Um, and Mixed Chicks now does have a sulfate-free shampoo. So again, you always want to go with healthier if you can. So I quit using Carol's Daughter. Um, side note by the Carol's Daughter. I told you I was going to keep one product which was the Mimosa Hair Honey I believe. I just want to let you know that the first ingredient in that Mimosa hair honey, hair honey I think was corn oil or some kind of oil that wasn't a normal oil that most um, black owned companies use. Let me just tell you that I opened that jar about a month ago to use some because I finally had hair long enough to use it and it smelled 
horrible. I was gonna hurl. So I threw it away. So I see why she says use her products quickly because if you don't, the cheap ingredients that she uses are gonna sh it's gonna pop up quickly and you'll, and you'll smell it. So I um, was a little disappointed in that. Um, again, if I'm paying lots of money for a product, I expect there to be good products in there. And so um, Carol's daughter for me is just done. Again, I'm not talking anyone else out of using it. If it works for your hair, by all means, use what your hair loves. Listen to what your hair asks for, give it what it needs, and you will have healthy hair. My hair does not need Carol's Daughter. My hair needs Hydrothermal Naturals. So, again, you know I use that for my shampoo and conditioner. I will keep on using it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, what else? So I wanted to make this video pretty quick, so I'm going to stop talking right now. Well, pretty soon. But again, I just kind of wanted to show you the length to just encourage you to not be frustrated and not jump, you know, it's back into the relaxer if that's not what you really want. Again, do what's right for you. If you feel like you need a relaxer, by all means, do that. But make sure you have exhausted your resources here. Um, if you want long hair, healthy hair is most important to achieve that goal. If you want healthy hair, probably being not being relaxed or not being texturized is probably the best way to go. You know, um, again, I was relaxed for over a decade, and I pretty much got my hair done weekly by a stylist where I never touched it. And I still had thinning hair. I still had issues with it. And my hair was not healthy. It looked good. It was shiny, but it was not healthy at all. Um, so I have about, I keep kind of going in circles, so I do apologize for that. I have about, if you look at the length right now, let me show you. Okay, so it goes about to my collarbone, because it's, it's layered, obviously. My goal is to get it down here. That has always been my length. I'm sorry. <laughs> about to bust line. Not that I need to put my bust line in there for you to see, so I do apologize. But... That is the end goal for me, is to get that length, because that's the length it was before I called my hair off and did a big chop. So um, we probably have about, I would say, about 16 to 18 months more to go before I get that length. But um, my first goal was to, like my collarbone, so I've reached that goal. The next goal is like where my to my cross, to the bottom of my cross and then to my bust line, my bra strap area. So we're getting there, but I just want you to know that it takes time, so don't be frustrated. Just keep thinking five, I'm sorry, a half inch every month. So map that out on your calendar, that way you can set a realistic goal of when your hair should be the length that you want it, and give yourself many goals in between that. Okay, you guys, take care and have a great day, bye.